The Titans welcome the UC Davis Aggies to Titan Stadium on Saturday. Both teams looking to start off conference play with a 2-0 record, with Fullerton coming off a big 2-0 win over Sacramento State. Let's pick it up in the first half. After the UC Davis keeper picks up a pass from his own team, the Titans get an indirect free kick, but they can't seem to find the back of the net even from only 7 yards out as the UC Davis defense finally clears the ball away. Later in the half, Nicholas D'Amato takes a free kick from just outside the 18, but it hits the top of the crossbar denying the Titans another chance at the first goal of the game. Again, the UC Davis defense clears and it moves 0-0 onto the second half. Just after the restart, the Aggies come out attacking, winning a throw in the Titans' final third. It would lead to their best chance at taking the lead. A long throw finds the head of UC Davis attacker Lucas Mogang, but you just can't get enough power on the header as the Titan keeper would punt it right back up the field. Titan striker Brandon West thought for sure he deserved a penalty after being taken down in the penalty box by the Davis keeper, who then makes a great second save to deny the Titans their first goal of the game. West would have some words with the referee who was having none of it, saying, play on, play on, that wasn't a foul. West again getting involved inside the penalty box, but he just can't seem to get the slightest touch on the Ronaldo Pineda cross to put it in the back of the net, still 0-0. But the drama wasn't done there, because on the other side, UC Davis gets a free kick, it bounces around inside and finds its way into the back of the net. But hold on one second, in the far corner you see the referee has his flag up, it's off sides and it's still 0-0. How does the saying go, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again? Off of the Julian Okai cross, the ball comes back out to Julian, who takes another shot at goal, deflects up and finds the head of Nigel Patterson, who heads it into the back of the net, putting the Titans up 1-0 with just three minutes left in regulation. As you can see, all of the Titans, from the bench and on the field, start mobbing him, as they are so excited to get this late goal right before the game is about to end, and it is the deciding factor, as Patterson's goal gives the Titans a 1-0 lead. Even Nicolo D'Amato was feeling on the field. Uh, I was a little scared with the time running out, uh, to be honest. With 19 shots, one of them should go in. So I hopefully was expecting that we wouldn't get countered. You know, I was hopeful and so relieved, relieved when uh, Nigel headed that goal. 19 shots on goal tonight, and one finally fell in the back of the net with only three minutes left in regulation. Next week, the Titans play Cal Poly at Cal Poly, hopefully trying to go 3-0 in conference. From Titan Stadium, I'm Kyle Lowe, Titan Sports Recap.